First of all, welcome back. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Um, You're back racing in Guyana. What brought you back? Well, really and truly what brought me back is uh, the family business. But racing is just uh, it's a perk. All right, lots of people wouldn't know of Stefan Jeffrey. They may have heard about him before. Uh, give us a, a brief history of your racing background. Uh, racing background actually started right here uh, at South Dakota uh, very many years ago. Uh, racing go-karts against my cousin. This was uh, the breeding ground. And Christian and I, this is where we started. Uh, he started a few years before me, but it was real nice racing back then. Um, we both uh, did really well here. And right before, right before that, um, we actually used to race little 50cc uh, motorcycles wrong around the yard. But after that, we graduated, so we went straight to Canada. Uh, we raced for two separate teams. I mean, we would have liked to race for the same team, but it just, so, uh, it just so turned out that we ended up racing for two separate teams. So you guys were started from, from being basically family and partners, so to speak. Then you went to rivals. How was that? It was uh, at times a little tough, but at the end of the day, we're still family, we're still blood. I mean, Krishna, I look at him as uh, my older brother. He's still, he's still uh, about a year and a year and a bit older than me. But um, <laughs> we're still closer than ever. Racing was never really an issue for us. At the end of the day, we're blood, we're family. You can't, you can't really break up. All right, so now you're back home racing a different platform. You graduated from CARX now to CARS. How, how difficult or how easy was the transition like? I think um, the only difference between the car right now and the car would be a speed factor. Uh, we used to race shifters in Canada. Uh, both of us were top five in Canada for a few years now. And um, the only difference between the cart and the car really is the two-wheel drive in front versus the two-wheel drive in the back. So there's a little bit of a transition coming from that, but nothing too, nothing too much to worry about. All right, now you're in group two. This is a pretty competitive group. It's, it's what we call in Guyana the, maybe the hottest group of racing. And you're going against uh, like Chet and Sean and, and these guys. I know the car that you have right now is has a pretty solid name for itself. But how do you approach racing against these guys? What is your plan? Uh, first off, I would like to thank Oliver, because that's actually his car there. Um, he did a fantastic job building a great platform that we can now take and build off of. Um, Oliver's actually still an integral part of the development of this car. Uh, he's a really good guy, so I just want to say thank you to him first. Um, Tackling Group 2 now, I mean, the reason I chose Group 2 is, as you said, it's a very competitive class. I have a passion for racing, it's in my blood, I love it. And I don't know how I'd feel driving around with just four, five, six cars. I need to be in a mix-up, whereas uh, I have like 10, 12, 15 cars around me. That to me is racing, and that to me is where you get the, the, most, the most fun, the most love out of the sport. And that's actually why I chose Group 2. And how I know you're up here testing the car is not you didn't finish preparing for racing it as yet, but just basically up here for seat time. How is it so far? How do you feel in the car? Uh, well, we we actually don't have brakes right now because um, the the brake that the car came with is actually the pads are actually finished. So we actually throw in some some cheap brake pads uh, to run just to just to get obviously seat time because I I haven't jumped in a car for a couple of years now. But it's going all right. Uh, trying to get accustomed to the gearbox because it's a very close, uh, close throw. But other than that, it's really similar driving style. You just have to be really, especially with a car, you have to be really smooth for that weight transfer. It's the weight transfer, I think, is the biggest thing in a car. And uh, once I get that down, I think I could, I think I could reel out some pretty decent lap times. All right. Well, thanks a lot, and uh, good luck in in the coming races. And I hope you're a factor in this season. Ah, thank you, thank you.